Hey Scorpio, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do part three of your reading series. All right, so part one and part two, it kind of feels like there's something that is difficult for you to face. Um, but by not facing it, it's like you're breaking your heart anyway. So let's see. What do we have for part three? We're going to start with a Lenormand card. New deck. Let's see. All right, so here we have the situation. What you're manifesting. The details that maybe you can see or maybe you can't. And then finally, guidance. All right, so let's start here with the Lenormand card. What do we have? Ooh. All right, so we have the Clover. It feels like maybe you're, the tide is turning. Your luck is changing. Something good is getting ready to happen. The number two, it might be about a pairing with somebody or pairing you with something that you love. All right, so that's a beautiful card. So let's see, for the situation... We have Knight of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> so I like seeing the Knight of Pentacles for you. Um, that tells me that you're, you're moving in the right direction. You're taking it slowly. Okay. I feel like you might be telling yourself, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to make sure that I dot my I's and cross my T's. This is Virgo energy. You might be dealing with a Virgo in, in particular. But the situation is about moving slowly towards something, and I feel like your luck is changing, the tide is turning, <clears throat> you're getting ready to pair yourself with something that you love. So what are you manifesting in this situation? Seven of Pentacles, so we're talking about movement, we're talking about what's next, okay? It's like you're getting ready to focus on what's next, or you're in the process of moving towards something in the physical world that is, I feel like, going to... It's going to bring something good to you. You know, this card, you know, when we're doing readings around this time of year, I look at this card as March, okay? Like something might be happening in March. Moving slowly towards it, but not too slowly, okay? Focusing on what's next, learning from past mistakes, learning from past successes, what works, what doesn't. Details that maybe you can't see. Ah, the sun. So first of all, this can be card of Leo. You might be dealing with a Leo, but this is also the card of yes. So I feel like this is an important card for you because You've been worrying about facing something, you've been hiding your heart, and in essence, breaking it at the same time. So the detail that you can't see is that there is happiness, there is a, a turning, there's a, something is coming together that feels good, something that brings you together with something that you love. So what is the guidance here? Nine of Wands. I feel like Spirit is saying you have a tendency to be a little too cautious, okay? So while we have the Knight of Pentacles here, maybe this really needs to be the Knight of Cups or the Knight of Swords. It feels like Spirit is saying, you know what? Some of the details that you're worried about really don't matter. You're being a little too cautious based on maybe your past experiences with something, you know, in the in a same in a similar situation. Okay, so let's see. It's almost like she's looking right up at that uh, Knight of Pentacles, saying, "What are you doing?" All right, so let's look at let's look at the clover and let's look at the knight of pentacles. Why are we moving so slowly? 
Page of Swords. Okay, because you're probably relying on other people's opinions. You might be you might be talking a lot about this situation and that actually keeps you from moving forward towards it. Okay, you can see that she's looking back. Page of Swords, you know, really is about seeking the truth. You might be afraid of what you end up seeing when it comes to the truth. But I feel like with the sun here and the clover, let's see, the clover, and we have strength. Okay, so second card of Leo, you, you absolutely could be dealing with a Leo or somebody who has Leo in their chart. Um, whatever this situation is, it's definitely building your strength in some area. Okay, you know, it's, it's probably, and when I say building your strength, it's also, it's also hitting you in the ego. So it might be breaking down your ego and opening up opening you up to being or allowing yourself to be vulnerable to something, pairing you with something that you love, okay? Something that brings amazing joy and happiness. So the more your ego falls away in this situation, the more you allow yourself to be vulnerable, the less you talk to other people about this and trust your own guidance, trust your own intuition. Um, I feel like this guidance here about not worrying about some of the details that you're worried about, I feel like it becomes easier for you. Seven of Pentacles, the world. So the world can be a card of Capricorn. Um, I feel like you're manifesting a particular outcome here, a particular outcome that requires you to have faith. And that might be something that you are struggling with. You might be struggling with faith a little bit. Um, but that comes, faith comes when we break down the ego too. The ego is always gonna tell you, hey, you're not good enough. This isn't possible. This is something that you should avoid because you've been hurt in the past, okay? The faith allows you to move towards that more vulnerable side of you, which allows you to bring something in that feels good to your heart, that makes you happy, that makes your heart sing. And then you, you start relying less on other people to seek out the truth and you start trusting yourself as to what the truth really is. All right, so let's see for the sun, what do we have? Again, details. Seven of Cups. So it feels like whatever you're dreaming about What's ever in your dreams, whatever makes you happy in your dreams, it feels like that's what you are bringing in. But not through ego, through allowing yourself to be vulnerable. That's, that's the lesson here. Having faith, allowing yourself to be vulnerable, breaking down walls that you know have prevented you from moving towards what you love in the past. Nine of Wands, one more. Four of Wands. Okay, so Four of Wands. This is, this is probably why you feel a little bit, um, a little bit tentative, a little bit cautious because you can potentially see yourself enjoying something or somebody forever, okay? Somebody that you dream about, something that you dream about, some situation that you dream about, you can see it as something that you will enjoy forever. So for it to go wrong would be devastating and you would be just continuing to build up that nine of wands wall, right? But Spirit is saying, 
if you can see yourself doing something forever or being with somebody forever, why would you build up a wall against it? All right. One card. One card for Scorpio. Look at that. Self-confidence through God confidence. That's exactly what we're talking about here. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So it's almost like surrender. Make yourself vulnerable because God has your back. Source has your back. Source, God is telling you, why would you prevent something that you could love forever just because something else didn't work out in the past? Scorpio, that is what I have for you for part three. Looking forward to part four tomorrow where we'll dissect things a little bit deeper and we'll finish off the week. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.